why should you use terminal applications? You know, right here, um, I've got this terminal open with all my, um, you know, NeoFetch, it's just showing all my desktop stats. And here I got one showing all my bloody, um, it's like task manager, basically just task manager. Whoa, dude, the CPUs and all that. And to be honest, I mean, most people just do it because it's cool. Like, I don't know, I think it's kind of cool, but to be honest, like most of the time, it's usually just because it's more efficient. You know, take for example, one of the best um, terminal applications is just Vim. You know, Vim is a text editor. And um, if you really learn it, if you really learn it and you, you know, you can just, blah, 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 you know, you can just go crazy. Um, you'll be insanely efficient, you know? There are a lot of terminal applications utilize the Unix philosophy a lot better, where just do something and do something as good as possible, you know? And usually in any terminal application, you just have to use your keyboard. Your whole keyboard is your whole menu bar and you just, you know, whatever you type on there, like it just translates, you don't even have to touch your mouse. For example, that's like in Vim. In Vim, you never have to use your mouse. Um, I've got another terminal application called NCS Spot, and oh, okay, it doesn't work right now. But it's a, um, it's basically just Spotify, but in a terminal, and it works well. It's a lot more lightweight. And that's another thing. A lot of these GUI applications usually just are so like bloated. Um, like, like, okay, let's say Spotify. You know, Spotify is just bloated, it's slow, it takes up nearly a gig of RAM. You know, NCS spot takes like 70 megs, something like that. So it's a lot more lightweight, more efficient, more basic, stripped down to what you need to do. And it does it well, you know, it doesn't do all this other crazy stuff, you know, for NCS spot, you're using it like it's Spotify. You're using it to have music, to listen to music and to make, maybe make some playlist. That's about it. You know, I think you can listen to podcasts on it as well. That's it. And it works well and it's simple and it's efficient, lightweight. So. You know, there are many benefits to using terminal applications, but sometimes it's not always the best. You know, sometimes it's actually just easier to use a very basic application because sometimes terminal applications come with a little bit of a learning curve. For example, Vim. Now, if you're not programming, you're not writing down documents every single day, you're not doing these complex edits, don't don't learn Vim. What's the point in learning this complex? Because Vim is complex. You know, Vim, you know, you open it like, oh, okay, how do I leave? You don't even like, you have to press colon and then Q and then boom, that's how you leave. You know, it's not basic. You know, there are, there is a learning curve to it. Um, so sometimes, you know, if you're trying to do something simple, you're just trying to write maybe a, a word document for like one piece of homework or I don't know, just randomly you have to print something off. Use LibreOffice, you know, Libre, I think I have it. Yeah, LibreOffice, you know, it's literally just Microsoft Office and it it's gooey. But it does everything well. Okay, uh, I need to use spreadsheet. Then boom, you just boom, you use spreadsheet. Like it's very basic, you know. <laughs> and it, it doesn't take a, like a genius to. It's not even a genius. It's not about being smart or being cool, really. It's just about being efficient. What's the most efficient option? Because again, computers. You need to use your computer. Like you need to realize computers were made to do work. So if you're not doing work well with your computer, then you're not really using your computer well. So you know if you're Try trying to do something, you know, don't pick a, a GUI application just be, or don't pick a, a terminal application just because it looks cool. Because if you're not going to be using it regularly, then there's no point. For example, I have this, um, I have this terminal application called skin and it's essentially just, um, like Microsoft Excel, but in a terminal and, you know, it looks cool. And, you know, sometimes I do a little bit of stuff with it, but to be honest, I don't really use spreadsheets that much. And this is a complex program. I kind of barely know how to use it. I know a bit, but to be honest, I often forget because I just kind of rarely touch it. So to be honest, in that instance, it's probably not the best that I'm using it, but like I knowingly know that I'm not using it well, but maybe I'll learn it in the future, but I don't know. So that's what you have to understand. So, you know, what's the point in wasting your time with learning something if you're not going to be using it all the time. But for example, if you're a programmer, if you're using, you know, IDEs and text editors all day long, then you should probably learn Vim, Vim or Emacs. You know, these are the two, you know, most hailed uh, editors and for good reason, because they're pretty good. I don't know about Emacs. I just used Vim and learned Vim and that's it. Like what's the point in learning Emacs? But, you know, I heard that it's probably just as good or you can make it just as good as Vim. So you may as well do, like if you're doing something all day long, you may as well make it as efficient as possible. 
but also there's some things that just don't translate well into terminal applications. For example, browsing. You can get terminal web browsers, but it's a pain. <laughs> it's a pain, it doesn't work well. And because it's just the web is not built for terminal browsers. So you have to have a GUI. You just have to have something that works, you know. Um, Brave is what I use. It works well. It does what I need it to do, and it does it well. You can, you know, use, like I, I know of like some more minimalist browsers, um, because Brave is a bit like, like it's a bit bloated, but like it works well. Um, but again, like terminal applications, sometimes they're good, they're sometimes not. You kind of have to evaluate it on a case by case basis. So like, for example, for Bluetooth, sometimes very rarely I'll have to use Blue Man Manager, which is this Bluetooth like GUI application. And you know, it, it works well, like it's very basic. Okay. Yeah. I want to connect and stuff. Why should I learn the terminal? Cause there is a terminal application. Like you can do it from the console, but why should I learn all the commands for that? If I'm rarely ever going to it, you know, it's kind of just a waste of time when I can just type in blue man manager. Yeah. Maybe it's slower, but it's actually more efficient in the long run. If I, cause if I learn it, then don't use it and then forget it and then have to relearn it, relearn it, relearn it each time. It's actually a bigger waste of time than just using something that's, you know, seemingly slower, but then I don't have to touch it for a month. So, Again, case by case uh, basis. Most of the time though, terminal applications will be more efficient. They'll be faster, they're lightweight, they look cool. You know, you can customize them a whole bunch. But again, if you're not gonna be using it that much, what's the point? So yeah, uh, I hope this video has been informative. Um, if you like this video, please like, subscribe. That helps me out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.